Hi there, welcome back to the Cosmic Classroom. Let's talk now about the structure of our galaxy, the Milky Way. So, if you go outside and observe the sky, you'll see many stars. If the sky is dark enough, you'll be able to see a band of light in the night sky, which we call the Milky Way. That's actually the disk of the Milky Way that we are looking at. So, you can imagine going to many different locations on Earth and taking pictures, pictures of the sky to make a mosaic of how the sky looks, looks light as if you could see it uh, all the sky at the same time. So you make that mosaic, and this is an image that shows the entire galaxy. All right? Now, I want you to think of this distribution similarly to when you look at a map of the world. All right? We are trying to represent in two dimensions what's actually a three-dimensional object. So when we try to reproduce a map of the world in a flat surface, we open it up and it has this, and it has this funny shape. And you know that the, the water that's right here in the left edge is the same as the one that's in the right edge. We just open it up to see. And we do the same thing with the night sky. So that's a projected view of the sky in a two-dimensional map. We see it from the Earth up in the sky. So the view that you have from the Earth is view A and not view B. Because you can't move away from your position in the galaxy and go take a picture of it. We are so ingrained in the galaxy, this galaxy is so big, we live inside it, that it would be impossible for us to go outside and take a picture like this. All right? So all we have is the picture that we see here on A. So how can we use that information and what other kind of information can we use to learn more about the shape of our galaxy? All right? How can we find out where in the galaxy are we? So, for example, we can look at other galaxies out there, right? So we look in the sky. There are many other galaxies out there. We should be similar to one of those, right? We see that there are certain types of galaxies. So if you look at how do other galaxies look, that gives us some clue to what we should look like. We don't see any galaxies that are cubes. We don't expect our galaxy to be a cube, right? Now, it could be one of those times. Where in the galaxy are we? So if you look back at the figure that I just started with, uh, it looks like we are in the middle of something, right? Let's see what. So we see that there is this path of extra light and dust across the sky right here. So this is extra light. And there is dust. There are some parts here that are completely blocked that you can't see. So that's another piece of evidence. We also see that there is a bulge. There is a central region here that is more luminous than everything else. Right? And that's another piece of evidence. We see a bulge. So maybe we are inside a disk. We see dust everywhere. And in one specific direction, we see a bulge of stars, a lot of stars. So let's assume that this is enough evidence for us to know that we're inside a disk of dust and gas. So if we are on the disk, how far away from the center are we? How far away from the center of the galaxy are we? And try as I might, I couldn't explain to you the three-dimensional uh, properties of the galaxy to help understand, that allow us to understand where in the galaxy we are. So I was walking to class uh, Wednesday and I saw a tree. And I thought, hmm, maybe that will help me explain. And I tried it in class and you said it helped. For those of you that weren't in class and may think that I was high on something, I wasn't. I was just trying to be creative, all right? So let's see, let's start with a Let's try to understand the structure of the Milky Way by looking at a tree. There it is, a tree. 
I'm not interested in the entire tree. I'm just interested in the roots of the tree. So I'm cutting off a lot of the tree. And I don't really like the tree this, the roots this way, so I'll turn it upside down like that. All right? And you know that that's three dimensionals, right? You know, because you know what the root, roots of trees look like. So this is what I'll do now. I will get a globular cluster that contains hundreds of thousands of stars, and I'll put it right here. So I'll try to distribute globular clusters in a similar pattern as the roots of the, of the, uh, of the tree. So I distributed my globular clusters all around. Okay. Now, let's say we live there in the disk. This is the sun in the disk. This part here with the thick branches, almost horizontal, would represent the disk. We are here on the disk in the solar system. Now, let's think about this for a second. If we are on the sun, uh, if we are on Earth traveling around the sun, and we look in the sky in a certain direction, we will see more global clusters than if we look in an opposite direction. Can you see that from this picture? If we look... In this way, you see lots of globular clusters, but if you look the other way, you'll see very few globular clusters. So the distribution of globular clusters is not centered around us. It's centered around something else. That something else is the center of the Milky Way. So we can use the distribution of globular clusters and determine where it's centered off, it's centered at, and find that that is the center of the galaxy. And, and using that information, we can determine how far away we are from that center. So the picture that we have of the galaxy looks somewhat like this. There is a, a disk of gas and dust. There is a bulge, which has a lot of stars. There are globular clusters all around the, the galaxy. Each little dot here is a globular cluster. There isn't any star in here that you can see with your eye. There are hundreds of billions of stars in this uh, image. So you can't determine, you can't see anyone with your eye. And we seem to be living in the disk about one third of the way away from the center of the Milky Way, the, the bulge of the Milky Way. So, we... Where are we, after all, in this galaxy? So we can map the galaxy and compare with other galaxies that we see, and we come with a picture that shows us that our galaxy is a spiral galaxy with globular clusters in a halo all around it, with a bulge of stars. We live right here in the spiral arms, and so these are two views of the same galaxy. We come with the conclusion that, first of all, we are not the center of our solar system. That we knew already, right? We figured that out before. We are not the center of the solar system. Guess what? We are not the center of our galaxy either. Right? And if you already watched the video on expansion of the universe, we are not in the center of the universe either. The universe doesn't have a center. So we are not the center of the universe either, right? So... Get over yourself. Right? And I hope it helped understand the structure of the Milky Way. See you next time.